So you were telling me earlier that you find that the happiest people tend to be the ones who have some financial freedom. That, right. that, what do you mean about that? Well, uh, you know, I think that the, the experience and the studies show that people that have the most control over their lives, the decisions to be made in their lives, um, are some of the happiest people. And if you combine that with the opportunity to develop your God-given talents, um, that can make for a very rewarding life. And I think it's very frustrating for people to feel like their life is controlled by somebody else and right. they've never gotten a chance to really develop the things that they're good at. Right, that's awesome. So you, you, know, you also talk about you know, when the cash flow from your investments allows you to do what you want to do, you, you, right. know, you really achieve that freedom. What do you kind of mean about that? Well, when you, what you want is not necessarily to have enough money to do nothing. What you want to have is enough money or cash flow from your investments that allows you to do work or service that you think is really important. I see. And again, it's something that maximizes or uses your talents. So it's a, it's varying degree. If you're lucky enough to start out in life and be in a job that you feel is really important and it provides for you and your family financially, that's great. Right. But I think there are a lot of people that um, have some financial needs, take a job, and they, they really would rather do something that they feel is more important in life. Right. And now we're trying to move them to that equation by, by creating capital and investments that allow them to, to get to that point in life. Excellent, excellent. So, you know, we've got this goal now, we want financial freedom. So what's the best way to get there? What's the number one thing you think is what was the best thing to invest in? Right. Uh, you know, if we could pick anything. For for first, I like to say the best thing to invest in is yourself. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna do whatever you can to do to make yourself more valuable in the field of study or, or work that you're in. I see. So you're gonna uh, get as much education as you can. Sometimes the education is expensive, but you're gonna be a lifelong learner. You're gonna read about things in your field, things related to your field, maybe even outside your field, just making yourself more of a renaissance person. Right, right. Exactly. And uh, you're gonna find mentors, ask questions, observe, look for models that work right. in your field. Um, you know, just be inquisitive and just determine that you're gonna take on challenges and opportunities that stretch you throughout your career. Right, that's, that's really excellent. So. It seems like having that growth mindset that you're always trying to grow no matter where yes. you're at, even where you're, yes. you're at, you know, you're, you're very, you've been very successful in your career. It right. seems like you're always trying to grow. That's exactly right. And I think people, the happy, happy people are people who are growing and moving ahead and, and right. achieving goals. So as you're making yourself more valuable, then hopefully your, your earning capacity and power is going up. And then that right. leads you on that path towards financial independence. I 